Are you following the Kanye or Ye? Uh, I heard about it like two days ago saying that he like supported Hitler and that's all I've heard, but I don't know if that's even true. So all right, okay. not really. Um, are you familiar at all with, how familiar are you or how much do you think about anti-Semitism? Um, it's something that I wanted to like look into more, like as a practicing Christian, like it's good to know like what other religions are about and stuff like that. So something that I've wanted to look into more. Okay. Okay. Well, you're going to get a chance because I'm going to talk about it. But uh, what I want to say is that um, what mostly it's really important for you is I'm going to talk about Christianity. And what I want you to do is let me know if, I've ste- if when I step over a line, if I, if I say something that okay. you're just like, oh, okay, you need I don't to... Ex- think, I don't think it's right or... It's yeah, like, I don't think it's okay. fair. You're okay. not fair. Right. Or you, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about or whatever, but I want to... So here's this kind of what he said, right? Um, I mean, he's made a lot of comments in the past about, there's actually these two comedians about 13 years ago, these two women who did a really funny skit. And they, did you see that? It's brilliant, man. Like who said it? Did Hitler say it or Kanye? And it's like you had to guess who said the quote and uh, it's really hard to tell. But anyway, um, so, so the question is, uh, where's this come from? You know what I mean? Like, where, where, do, where does all, um, and, and by the way, he, he also put this symbol up. Do you know what that is? Yeah. And it's like the Judaism, but then it's also like the swastika. So. Yeah, but it's a symbol of this Raelian movement. Okay. And the Raelian movement was started by this French guy back in the, I think, 1970 or 72 or something. And the idea, it's a, his philosophy or pseudo secular religious philosophy is that um, humans were put here by t- extraterrestrials right and so he used these two symbols not as like a, a bad symbol right I mean but you know because the swastika is historically speaking an, an eastern philosophical system that means peace and so we we used to have you can look at pictures of U.S. airplanes in World War I that's before the Nazis y'all they have swastikas on their side because it means good luck and so on um, you see it on churches and you, know, you go to, you know, like uh, temples and places like in Korea and different places. Anyway, um, so, so the question becomes, uh, wh- I'm going to start here with, the Christ- with Christianity, okay? Do you ever wonder, like, what's the origin of anti-Semitism? Have you ever, like, like, how could Like, Nazis- the origin? I haven't really thought about that much, no. Okay. Have you ever w- thought about, like, how could the Nazis do what they did? To yeah. You? Like, morality kind of things? Yeah. Sure. How could they kill so many people? And I mean, I know it's like just, I believe that like, that's just like a heightened like point of sin in people's lives. Like it's just, it's something that's like just evil. I, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, th- so the question becomes like, why Jews, right? Mm-hmm. So people, m- scholars make the argument, myself included, um, although I don't consider myself a scholar, but a teacher, right? That uh, anti-Semitism against Jews is the longest hatred, okay? It's gone on over, over 2,000 years before uh, there was Jesus of Nazareth, right, was born. I mean, even before that, right? Um, there was just the battling between, I, mean, I can't call it anti-Semitism at that point. It's really just different groups of Pharisees and Sadducees and Jew, everybody like fighting each other. But so when, you think of, when I think about Christianity, this is, these are the scenes that I have, right? Because I grew up as a Christian, and I sat in many church pews like that and, like, listened to sermons and, you know, prayed and all sorts of things. It's lovely. It's great. And I have a connection to the Spirit through my Christian roots and stuff, right? But the question is, that had to be dealt with, is that Jesus was born a Jew, and he died a Jew. And he died, at the time he died, he was, you know, was uh, celebrating the... Um, the Sabbath, right? And so, like, the issue is, like, the Jewish Sabbath. So it's like, huh, all right. So who killed Jesus then? I mean, I believe that, like, that was, uh, it's not like, uh, like, I think what you're saying with, like, Jesus being a Jew and, like, being Jewish and how, like, Christians are different, it's like we believe that he was a Messiah, and I think that yeah. Jews then didn't believe that, that he, uh, he was a Messiah at the time, that he right. was still to come. Right. So I feel like that's why it switched over kind of in a way like it became christians believing then jesus was the messiah yep, yep. so i think when they said like oh jews like did the jews kill jesus it's like well i think just the people i don't really think it was like a necessarily a specific group that had to deal with it but it was like people they they, they 
reading the Bible and like re- like looking back on it and trying to think about like what it said in like the Gospels. Um, so you're, it, you're 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 on a roll. This is cool, right? Yeah, so it's ahead. like I think that like when I'm trying to think about what the Gospels had said, it's like there were there were other guys up for like so. It says that, like, they planned to kill Jesus. They, they planned to kill Jesus, but they never said why. Like, like people would even ask. They're like, okay, what, on, uh, what basis are you trying to kill Jesus on? And then they're like, oh, well, he's claiming to be God. And it's like, well, he is God. It's like, okay, so he's claiming these things. They don't believe him in that. And so they put him on death row, and, or basically. And, okay. And as, like, it's, there's another guy. They're like, okay, we can release one guy from jail, or we can release one guy from prison. Who do you want? Who do you want it to be? Yeah. This known murderer or Jesus? And they're like, oh, well, crucify Jesus, let him go. Like, okay. that, and so right. that's okay. Yeah, dude, awesome, man. Okay, so the so the idea here is the Romans killed Jesus. So the yeah. they that you're referring mm-hmm. to are the Romans, right? Mm-hmm. It's political killing. But at some point in time, the question of deicide emerges in Christian philosophy. Okay. Deicide, meaning the killing of God, because once Jesus becomes God, now... Well, Jesus always was God. Yeah, Jesus well, is but, God. but once we decided that Jesus is God, you know, you know what I mean? I mean, I... Like okay, the, peop- it's a, well, I okay, the okay. people are... Yeah. Okay, once Jesus died... Okay, this is fair. Once Jesus died, um, it's, you've killed God now, right? No, he's alive. He's always alive. Okay, no, like, hang on, hang on. But, no, like, the, don't go the there. The human, the human in The him. human part of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, yes. Okay, I get the Trinity piece. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Okay. But once Jesus died in human form, God dies, right? And the Romans kill God. But what you see in Christian scriptures, what you start to see is this question of deicide and, like, trying to decide. Like, wait, wait, hang on a second. Who killed God here, right? Who killed Jesus, which is God? And like suddenly you see this version of the Bible start to emerge, this storyline weave itself into Christian philosophy, including the Bible, which is like, oh, it wasn't the Romans that killed God. It was Jews who killed God. So not only did Jews turn away, did Jews turn away from Jesus, who was God, right? Mm -hmm. But they, not only did they, did the Jews, not, not all Jews did, obviously, because all of those, the, the really early on Christians were also Jews, so not all Jews did. Mm-hmm. But as a larger people, not only did they turn their backs on God, but they killed God. They killed Jesus, right? And then this becomes this, this like thread that gets woven into the fabric of Christian thinking. And so now it's like, that's what you're saying, like, anti like semitism came this from. is the okay. origin of anti-semitism okay. right so it could just be early on it's like no 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 the romans killed god so we can all just hate the romans because who are the romans anyway right because the romans aren't who the romans are today so we can just dislike them but no, no no it goes from the romans to suddenly jews because there's there's a battle man there's just an endless right. battle between people right it's just like today just like these yeah. militia groups they're battling each other they're battling you they're battling college students they're battling me they're battling everybody. everyone's battling everybody right so now it becomes like oh wait hang on a second so jews killed god and once you make the proclamation that Jews killed God, it's just open hate toward Jews. The longest hatred. It goes back 2,000 years. So let me, let me show you a, a couple things. Um, like this is, core, read, this is core doctrine of the Catholic Church. You're not Catholic, right? No. Okay. Core, this goes up to the Second Vatican Council. So this was Second Vatican Council is in the early 60s, right? All the Jews in Palestine circa at the time of Jesus' death were responsible for the execution of Jesus. This is core Catholic teaching. So where is this? Like, what document is this in? Like, what are the, is it in the Vatican? It's in all the Catholic core doctrinal, uh, core doctrines that are taught in Catholicism. You and, it's like a Catholic thing. They got their own thing going on, man. All Jews who are currently living are also responsible for Jesus' death. Like, oh my God. Like, you understand, like, it doesn't take a lot. You killed, this is the cross that you have, right? You killed, you, you're, you're responsible yeah. for, de- God has rejected Jews because they murdered Jesus. And Good Friday services referred to perfidious Jews, the deceitful Jews. Good Friday services, man. You know what I mean? It's like, this is core. So you can imagine also Protestants as well. And like, it still goes on to this day. Right. I mean, when I read the second one, when it says all Jews are responsible for his death like i don't believe i think like so what i believe is that like all of our sin yeah, every, yeah, everybody's sin so it's yeah. not just like a 
people everybody. group. Right. Yeah, like everybody. human kind of stuff, you know. Dude, th- that's because you're a cr- you're thinking as a Christian. Yeah. Like you're not thinking as a Catholic or no, I wouldn't No, you you're not say? thinking no as a oh. as a social as, as a segmented Christian. Mm-hmm. It's like, you can be a Christian if you're thinking like me, but otherwise, like, no, you're outside mm-hmm. of it. Okay, so all these people, these are Nazis, right? This is Nuremberg rally. They're all, they're all Christians. All, all these folks, every one of them, they're Christians. I mean, they're not Christians. Like, look. I can't judge a person. I don't know no, their no, heart, but no, yeah. No, 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 listen. Th- these, are, these are Nazis, right? Yes. Six million Jews, five million other folks. They're not really Christians, but the vast majority of them went to church on Sunday morning. The vast majority of them read the Bible. The vast majority of them did all the things that you do as a Christian. They also just happened to organize the most vile Mm -hmm. genocide that humanity's ever known, Mm -hmm. but they did it as Christians. I mean, again, they're not Christians. You know, let's be really clear. Yeah, it's, yeah. But you're not going to tell them that. Just like I know a lot of Christians today who claim to be Christians, and so do you, who I would say like, Dude, you can't be a Christian or do that with that thought and with those actions. That is anti-Christian. Please do not call yourself a Christian and act in the way that you're acting and say the things that you're saying, right? Um, well, same with these folks. It's like, shit, right? That's, that, you know, Martin Luther, are there any Lutherans in here? You know, like, if you read, do you know Lutheranism, right? Mm, you don't uh, know of it, but you know. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, you understand, like, if it wasn't for Martin Luther, you'd be, you would be a Catholic. Most likely, yeah. The well, Protestant yeah. Reformation. Yes, the whole yeah, thing. The, yes. Okay. Then, yeah. Mar- if you read Luther's commentary on what to do about the Jews, it's like the Nazis took that. The Nazis took it and they copied it. And they said, oh, this is going to be our final solution to the Jews. And Lutheranism, I mean, this is like the, the foundation of Protestantism, which is your, with mine as well. I, was, I raised mm-hmm. United Methodists, right? So it's like, shit. Okay. Um, so these guys, Charlottesville, right? And what's his name who was here at Penn State, right? Notice, see the, the Star of David. This, is, this was one of the, the uh, posters to unite people to go to Charlottesville to protest, right? And notice the Star of David. There's no KKK symbol here, my friends. It's, it's, this is anti. So black people, th- this isn't even about you. This is about Jews, okay? So then I wonder, huh, well, hang on. Let me look at these guys. This is in Charlottesville. These are some of these militia groups and so on. Like, look at, look at the, it's like, come on. Okay, you got a Confederate flag, but you got more swastikas. Swastikas, Confederate flag, swastikas. It's like, dude, so my question about Kanye, yay. He's drinking the Kool-Aid, man. Ye is drinking the anti-Semitism Kool-Aid that emerges out of 2,000 years of Christians. And again, I'm I'm saying Christians, so please. I'm not saying attacked. I don't know. Okay, good. All right. Of 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 a segment of Christianity, which at a certain period of time was the vast majority of Christians who identified the death of Jesus, they, as Jews as being the cause of the death of Jesus. Mm-hmm. And that just gets woven down, woven down, woven down. And we see it today. And Ye is drinking, it sounds to me, like that same Kool-Aid. Mm-hmm. And by the way, in the black community, because so many bl- black Americans here are Christians, which is complex in and of itself, right? Because Christianity came with slavery, so it's like it is the religion of the slave owners and slave masters. So that's also really complicated, right? And so black Americans are so closely aligned with Christianity and there's enough sociological animosity over the years between blacks and Jews in lots of different ways that it's just really easy for black people to hold these really deep anti-Semitic ideas about Jews. And we see it, I see it all the time. So yay, it's just demonstrating that. It's like, dude, 
get off your ass, man. Like, come on. Like, you can't be any more clear about what's going on here. It's like, thought on that. He's drinking the Kool-Aid. I mean, it's tough because... I mean, like, as a Christian, I'm, I don't judge people's hearts. Like, I don't know where they're at, like, with their walk with the Lord or with, like, their relationship with God and Jesus. But um, and they, I literally just hear, what, like, what's on the news and stuff. And at one point, you know, it, he, I thought he was doing some things that, like, kind of produced fruit that I that made sense to being a Christian. Because, like, being a Christian isn't just a label. It's, like, a change in your heart. And it's, it's like, a change it's, in your it's, reality. It's, it's like, ex- exactly. Like, it's like the Holy Spirit enters you. And, like, you are a new creation. Um and it's like once you are changed, it's like you, once you walk with the Lord, like you will be continuing to just like produce fruit that are like, that's good. And that's, that's totally. good. And so I think that like, it's, it's tough because we will never be perfect as Christians. Yeah. And it's like, you, you can't paint people that way. Um, but for Kanye, like, I think like seeing the things that he had said about Jews, like I, it is it's tough. It's rest. It's it's hard to wrestle with that. Being like, okay, you identify as a Christian. Like you've done these things that make sense. That like you would have the spirit in you. But it's like you're saying these things that are just going like yeah. against the Bible. It's like it's hard as a Christian Dude, to identify that. Yeah, it's going against yeah. life itself. Right. And so it makes me. It, you really then wonder why Jews, Jewish people, are so really afraid and concerned. Man, I would be. It's like shit. You know, there's like an undercurrent of anti-Jewish rhetoric that is so strong. And he just fuels that. You know, this kind of thinking just fuels that. It's like, yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I really like how you stop yourself and be like, look, man, I don't know what's in somebody's heart. Because you can't. You just can't condemn. You, you, you just Literally can't. no idea. No, no th- th- yeah. please, believe me. Yeah. I have enough people condemning me that I'm just like, okay, whatever. But, but it really is. And, you know, and these, these are like just these tropes and these are all these new you know right like anti-jewish neo-fascist symbols that are being used to you know as this this, hatred of jews man it's just it doesn't seem to go away even after nazi germany and it's just really it's really disappointing it's so disappointing Mm -hmm. but if i'm jewish well first off i'm named after my mother's jewish uh, gynecologist. So I'm like Shmuel. I'm like half of 1% Jewish. So uh, I'm the half of one. So I'm afraid. Like really, I'm afraid. It's like, it doesn't go. I just think it's going to go away and it doesn't go away. Like Jesus. And even the people who are like the most thoughtful Christians will come out with this anti-Jewish stuff. I'm like, where did that come from? So anyway, okay. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Are you done? I, do you want me to be done? Yeah, you're done. Okay. Yeah, we got to move right. to the next All one. Right. Thanks, man. Yeah. Dude, you killed it. Awesome. That was great. Um, and by the way, can I just say this to those of you who are Jewish in the room? Um, it also doesn't mean that it's one thing about the Jewish people, but the state of Israel which is not the people of Israel, but the state of Israel, has done some pretty unconscionable things with respect to Palestinians. And if you are watching, and this takes us to our next, uh, our final segment, our third and final segment, uh, you know, um, what's his name, who just like clawed in his way back in power, Netanyahu, um, just made a deal with the extreme right-wing anti-Arab, anti-Palestinian, and most recently, anti-homosexual, anti-gay rights coalition. So it's like, God, even in Israel, which is like one of the most progressive countries on queer issues that we have, and yet they just made a deal with the devil. This guy did. The things that people will do to get in power.